Hello everyone, a slightly different format today for Speed Beauty. I've got a guest and her name is Cass. Cass has come in and done her usual daily makeup on her right side and I'm going to paint the other side and we're going to discuss what she thinks about her makeup and any troubles that she might have and annoyances so that we can impart lots of information and knowledge to you guys. I hope you like it. So Cass, this side of your face, the right side here, this is your everyday makeup. Yes. And so how long does it take you to put your makeup on like this? Uh, probably about 10 minutes. Okay. What are your frustrations with what you're doing? Okay, my frustrations are, I don't look like I've got anything on. Right. Um, which I want, mm -hmm. but then I'm not defining anything. So I'm never really sure on the eyeshadows. I never know whether I put too much on in the wrong place, in the right place. Okay. Um, so I want to look made up, but not over the top. Okay, fine. As I look at your skin now, I can see that it's really thirsty. So first thing is we're going to really hydrate it. So I might okay. need to just look at a few skincare products that we can use, but I'll just kind of work with a nice primed skin before you put your makeup on, and that will give a glow to your complexion because I think you use Chanel Vital Luminaire as a foundation, yes, don't I do. you? Yeah. And how do you apply that to your skin? With my fingers. With your fingers. Okay, because yeah. it looks very, very light. It looks very, very natural, doesn't it, on camera? You don't rub it off again afterwards, do you? Because it's quite. It's quite I, I don't know. This coverage. is the thing. I might actually do that by accident. I think I. I don't know whether I should use a brush. I never. You know, it's it's one of those things. Some people use a brush. Some people don't. I've always yeah. used my fingers. Just put your fingers on. Yeah. So I'm so not right. enough on. Sorry. One thing. Never apologize. <laughs> okay. So you want a little bit more, but yeah. keeping it natural. You've got great brows. I have Thank to say. You. Right. So let's start. So if we're going to start, we'll just start with a little bit of hydration. So I'm going to use this Super Moisture Lip Balm from Beauty Pie, first of all. So if you stretch your lips for me, I'm just going to really work this lip balm in. It's really nourishing. I think because it is February and we are in the UK, everything is really dry. So the more hydration that you can put onto your skin, the better. Is that any? Perfect. Now, I'm going to use this serum, Morley. It's a Supreme Skin Serum because your skin looks a little bit thirsty. And I love this serum under makeup because it's almost like oil. Some serums that you can put on your skin, they are a little bit too oily or they dry or they kind of leave this sort of tightening effect over the skin. Whereas this one sits beautifully into the skin and works lovely with makeup. So I'm just going to place this just on the fine lines of your face, just on your forehead and just out here. And you can just let that soak in. If you want to, you can always apply your foundation mm -hmm. and then you can apply the serum on top and you can pat it on top if you feel that maybe your skin is super, super dry. If you don't like this type of effect, another way to kind of hydrate your skin without it looking glossy, because if you like a sort of matte finish to your makeup, you can use a hyaluronic. Okay. And a hyaluronic is something like this. This is a brand Pestle and Mortar. Um, and you just put it on, and the same thing with the dropper. And okay. you just blend it into your skin. But adding a serum or a hyaluronic just to this area of your face will really kind of make your skin look dewy. Because what I'd love to create is a very simple natural makeup because it's totally who you are. You've got these gorgeous brown eyes, you've got lovely brows, perfect <laughs> brows. Bring out your lashes, just want to give your skin just a bit of a light bulb yeah. effect underneath, but we can do that really simply. Brilliant. All right, so we start with that. Next, I'm going to use a little bit of this Revolution Correcting Conceal. Now, this works perfectly for our colours today, yeah. and it's a green. So green just neutralises any redness. So you've got a little bit of redness in your skin like most of us, and I'm just going to pat that just along the side of your nose. And just across your cheeks. Now you don't want to look like Shrek when you finish. You want the colour to blend, I was say. <laughs> <laughs> to blend into your skin. So it just almost this is a veil of colour, and it kind of just calms the redness down. Because the makeup I'm going to do is like super light on you. I don't want to use a heavy mm. coverage foundation to get rid of the red. I just want to neutralise it slightly, and it's really really common. And this one is really affordable, and it just sits and connects with the skin. You put a little bit of base over it, it disappears. But I wouldn't advise you to use this and then walk out the door. Walk out the door. <laughs> Getting funny looks in the street. Uh, so you have to use it with a little bit of base, what I'm saying. Yeah. So that helps me just sort of hydrate your skin and even out your skin. Now I'm going to try a product that I've used before um, on the films, and it's Lumen. 
you've got a really natural looking skin and I feel that when you put your Chanel foundation on that you probably put it on and then rub it off. Rub it off. <laughs> yeah. And so there's a time where you need to stop rubbing. I think maybe we could halve the rubbing time. Yeah. You might get more coverage. Chanel might lose some money. But... <laughs> so again, we're doing a little bit of a dropper action here. Just give you a little bit. And I'm going to use my fingers as well just to show you how soft this is over your skin. Feels lovely. And the feel of makeup is so important, isn't it, on the skin? Yeah, I hate you put it, it feels on, it's, thick. Yeah, you don't want it to feel thick. You want to be able to put it on and just think, oh, that feels lovely. Because it is probably like, you know, a few minutes of the day that you actually have some time for yourself. And it's actually quite nice that when you put your makeup on, you're actually doing something for yourself. And rather than having it as a chore on your list of things to do to make yourself look and feel human, it's actually just quite nice to use products that make you feel good. And it's just sort of all part of being kind to ourselves. A little bit under the neck here, I'm just going to blend this in here, Cass, because like me and most people with pale skin, our necks tend to be a little bit lighter and our bodies tend to be a little bit yellower. So I'm just warming up your neck slightly just for that to blend in. Lovely. That is soft and natural. It's not too heavy. We can probably build on that slightly, but I'm just going to add a little bit of light reflecting concealer just under your eye here and just around your nose here very delicately. The most important thing is that I want you to enjoy the texture and, and how the makeup feels. This highlighting concealer is by Clinique. Um, it's called Airbrush Concealer. Now I love this because it's really powerful and it's great for just underneath the eye area where it goes a little bit bluey grey but you're not that dark Cass so I don't want to use a really heavy opaque concealer. I want to use it something is going to reflect the light not completely block it out because if I put too much concealer and too much foundation on your skin, it's going to make you feel a bit weird because you're not used to it. Mm -hmm. And then you'll feel too made up and then you won't use the tips that we've talked about because it just feels too made up and too polished. So the idea is, is that we do a makeup that feels like you, looks like you, that you're going to adopt those tips and feel more confident. Yeah, that works really well. And again, like I said, with the serum, I'm not going to do it because you don't need it. If it was a day where you felt a little bit more dehydrated or you'd been crying or too much wine and you felt a bit sort of puffy, you can then go over with the serum over the top. But that's just a nice little lift and that will really help us shape our eyes. I'm just going to go back with a bit of the serum, close your eyes for me, and just go over your eyelid. Okay, so you've got lovely brows, but you're like me, aren't you? They're very high Surprised. And your forehead surprised. <laughs> so what we can do is work a little bit of eyebrow powder through those and just bring them down slightly. But, you know, high eyebrows are great because they just really open out your face. They're not, you know, crushing your eyes at all. How would you like your eye makeup to be? Subtle. <laughs> okay. More subtle than what you do? No, I need something a bit more. I okay. think I literally just put one colour on and that's it. Okay. So here's our eyebrow powder. This is HD powder. Um, and I'm just going to use a mix of two little colours and just check them on my hand and I'm using a slightly angled brush. So I'm just going to paint very fine hair-like strokes. Just turn towards me so that's it. And just going to elongate your brow just at the outside. What we don't want is the brows kind of coming down. So you want to sort of allow your brow to kind of elegantly disappear into your hairline. So I'm just going to pull that out slightly there. And these guys here, just encourage them to come forward just a little bit more. These are all like so subtle, but the subtle changes just kind of rebalance your face slightly. Okay, right, let's go for something cool and fabulous. Um, we're going to use the Glossier Fawn on your eyes. And this is a cream eyeshadow, so close your eyes for me. And because you've got small lids, I'm going to use the colour and I'm going to bring it up slightly. If you use anything that's too dense and too dark on your eyes, you're going to make this area of your eye too small. Now you don't and you're really light when you apply your makeup, so you're not making your eyes look smaller, but this will just kind of give you like a little bit of light in this area. You feel where I'm pushing it here, just across the brow bone like that. Mm -hmm. That will just shrink that space underneath your brow for me and I'm just going to soften the edge of where I applied it. 
Now it feels kind of like really cool, doesn't it? Yeah. On your eyes. And just open for me. I love that. That's so nice. Also, when you've got dark hair and dark brown eyes that like you have, sometimes the tendency is just to kind of use lots of browns and lots of golds. Yeah. And this is a little bit more cooler. It's more pewter in shade. So it just kind of adds something different. Now, the mascara I'm going to use is Max Factor's Lash Crown. Because, again, you've got small eyes, I want to get nice definition along your lash line. So I want to get lots of mascara along there to shape your eyes without having to use eyeliner. And you already use this? I do, yes. Fabulous. Is that from one of the films? Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the great thing about this mascara is that it's got literally no bristles on one side. So what you can do is you can scoop, literally scoop, lots of mascara onto the wand. It's quite a tricky one to use, actually. And look down at your knees for me. And I'm just going to wedge your lashes, the roots of your lashes, just along the wand there. And then really pull them up. Always imagine when you apply your mascara that the mascara formula needs to act like a pyramid. So the thickness of the mascara needs to be at the roots, not at the tips, and then it builds up. So this is quite a unique brush, but if you know how to use it, especially if you've got short eyelashes, it can really help to lift. We're going to use two coats. Right, so you use the same mascara as this. I do. But it actually looks quite different. How do you apply your mascara? I literally just very quickly right. a couple of coats, but so I don't actually go like that. So it's a speed thing. Okay. Yeah. So you actually don't use the benefit of the brush? Probably not, okay. no. How old is your mascara? About five months. Ah, okay. I'll tell you what, if you just look down at your knees again, I'm just going to do a second coat. Most mascaras last up to about three months, and that's just basically because of oxidisation. Um, Matt times that you open and close it, it just dries up and it loses its lovely inkiness. And you'll see on the camera just the difference. I've put two coats on, obviously, and I've spent more time doing it. I mean, only literally a matter of sort of 40 seconds. But just having that lovely coat of mascara really opens out your eyes and makes your eye look really pretty. And what happens with this balance is people then look at your eyes and your eyebrows don't look as high because the eyeshadow's just softened it back and your eyes are really, really pretty and it brings out the richness of your eyes. And you just look up for me. I'm just gonna do a little tint, not two layers, on your lower lashes. Not as thick as on top. Just one layer, just with the nib, just so that it gets more of a lift at the top. And that is so pretty and lovely, I love that. Do you wanna have a little look? What a difference. And if you hold the mirror up, when you look at yourself in the mirror, if you hold it up like that then you can just see the light the worst thing we can ever do to ourselves is look down in the mirror because it just makes our faces a little more sparkly exactly just adding does that little... sound a bit silly sparkly it's exactly what we want we yeah. want our mojo we want our sparkle we want to look like ourselves but we don't want to look like we've got makeup on yeah. we just want to kind of just look a little bit more fabulous feel fabulous uh, right so i'm just going to give you another option of concealer here so I'm going to use Flower, which I know your daughter absolutely loves. Yes. Um, and this is such a nice concealer. Now, this is an opaque concealer, so it gives really great coverage. So if you wanted a, a heavier coverage against the serum that I've used, mm -hmm. you can mix them together, or you could add your skin serum, your skincare, into this to make it softer. So if you wanted to go on a night out and you wanted yeah. to be a little bit stronger, then you could use this. Okay. But I'm just going to add a little bit more around your nose and chin. So just here... Just look down there. Just here, we all tend to get a little bit red and across the cheeks. And I'm not going to use any powder, I don't think you need any powder. I think it's just lovely to see your skin looking fresh. And this is such a lovely formula. Blends really well with the skins, it's undetectable, and you just don't need that much base. You just need a little bit of neutralizing, just a little bit of softness, and then you're great. Having a full medium to heavy coverage foundation just wouldn't suit you at all. I'm just gonna add a touch of concealer just here because I want to make sure your eyes are always lifted. And this area here, it's almost like a reverse liner, so you'd put your liner up here. But I'm just using that as a little bit of concealer because around this area we can tend to get a little bit red or pink. And again, that just makes us look a little bit brighter. 
Now going onto your blush, I've got to be careful that I don't use the blush at the front of your cheek here because otherwise it will look a bit chipmunky that you're storing up your nuts for winter. I have got a round face. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a nicer way of putting it, isn't it? So I'm going to use this blush by Laura Mercier. I'm imagining your bone structure. So I want to keep this area nice and light and I want to add a little bit of structure and shape to your cheek. So I'm just going to use this real sort of like 80s motion. It's a real sort of sweep but because the texture of the formula and how we're going to blend it, it's not going to look like that. But we're just really carving in a nice angle to your cheeks and it's just pushing back the roundness of your cheeks. So don't go too high and don't go too low. Okay. So we just add it there. And with blush, it's just really important to kind of just keep it, whatever shape you're doing, just keep it within that area. And in fact, a lot of the blusher brushes I use are these small real technique ones because that's all you need just for that area. Okay, so let's do a little bit of lip and then we're gonna add something from Drew Barrymore's flower collection because I know that your daughter loves that and it'll give you a lovely boost and sheen. Um, so what would you like lip wise? Okay, I don't wear anything in the day because I don't really know what suits me. Okay, um, so like not a balm or tint? Nothing, no, I've okay. tried lip glosses, they come off really quickly and I'm not right. really sure what colour suits. Okay, so what would you like in your in your Just mind's something eye? subtle, it just gives a little bit of colour. Okay, you've got great lips, so let's just go for a little bit of shape. Um, we'll use Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Cheat, I think, just to kind of create the fullness in the top that you've got at the bottom, you're so lucky. Um, and then we'll do a nice kind of warm tone underneath. So I'm just going to remove the excess balm, what we put on, and I'm just going to do, obviously, your right side. And first of all, I'm just going to take a little bit of base, just the lips nice and relaxed. And if you just take the base just very subtly over your lip line first, it just helps you find your vermilion line. It helps you find where your lip naturally has colour and shape, so it makes it easier for you to follow. So if you stretch your lips for me, over your teeth, I'm going to use... Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheap and I'm going to use it to really pull out the top of your lip and then blend it through and then same underneath. Soften that in first of all. You've got a lovely healthy colour to your natural lip. So I'm going to use that for shape and then I'm going to use this lovely gloss. It's a really warm gloss that goes really well with your complexion and again just because of the natural sort of redness in your cheeks, I'm kind of neutralising everything. This is a really, really soft, warm gloss, but it feels like a balm. That looks so pretty. If you just feel the texture of that for me, does that feel too sticky or...? No, it doesn't feel sticky at all, actually. So I love the naturalness of this look. It's really, really soft and contemporary. We'll finish off your whole look for you. <laughs> but just for learning purposes, thank you very much for allowing me to paint half your face. Um, one product I want to use, just because we want to add that kind of contemporary gloss to your face, is the Supernova Celestial Skin Elixir from Flower. And I've been using this a lot. I love it over my foundation. I'll use my skincare serums and then I will use this over the top of my base. And I might just put it on at lunchtime. I might just put it on if I'm doing a quick look for an evening. But you can see it's just kind of like lilac-y, golden texture. It's really surreal and celestial. But I wanna just place this just over your gorgeous cheekbones here. Because as you turn, it will just catch the light. Just a little bit on the bridge of your nose, just where your bone is, not the soft part. And just on your forehead there. And it just kind of gives a real sort of like soft, glowy effect to the skin and takes away from anything but looking heavy and made up. Gorgeous. Have a little look. Check me out. So does that look more than you would normally wear? Do you yes. sort of look at that? So that even feels quite scary. Yeah. That, okay. that to me feels like I'm going out. That's going like out. Out, out. So what you could do is maybe take off the eyeshadow and just have the lashes. Mm-hmm. And that would look less going outy, or does that still feel too dressed for you? I don't know. I think it's just get used to it. Not get used to it, but I feel yeah. To me, that's like me going out. Okay. But I like it. Would you like me to do the other side to match, or shall we do a pared down version of what we've done here? Oh no, let's match it up. Okay. So as I look at your face here, I've really seen that this eyebrow is much lower than this eyebrow. 
So you don't actually need two or three hairs at the top here at all. So I'm just going to whip those out for you, <laughs> just to match up. So it's just two or three hairs and that'll make a big difference. A lot of people say, oh, you should never pluck your eyebrows from the top. Well, why not? I do, because otherwise they just sit too high on my forehead and it would just give a much sort of softer and elongated brow. Okay, so that looks so much better. So just as a rule, brush your brows towards the inside of your face and then brush these guys down. Side of your face and then brush these guys down. It'll just give you a lovely, softer finish to your makeup. I love this makeup. I know for you that it feels like a little bit glamorous, but all of us have different boundaries and levels of love <laughs> and makeup, etc. But your eyes look big, your skin looks healthy and glossy, and I just love that kind of sheer balm on your lips and a neutral colour. So you can wear so many different styles of makeup, but this looks beautiful on you. I hope you're happy. I am happy, thank you. So this is Cassie's final look. Slightly lowered her brows, really brought out her eyes with a soft hue, even though it's a bit disco for Cass, I absolutely love it. Given a lovely caramel hue to her cheeks, brightened up her complexion and finished off with a soft caramel gloss.